purpose of this video is to show proper assembly and presetting features for the Kaiser Series 319 rough boring heads. These boring heads can be used for balanced and stepped boring depending upon how the insert holders are assembled onto the head. Here we show a pair of insert holders for this series. Note that one holder is marked with an S for short and the other is marked L for long. The holders are a different length but the difference is very small so it is not easily seen as they are shown here together. Likewise, the serrated profile of the boring head is staggered by this same small amount. The boring head has two lines, RSS, more commonly known as balanced cutting, where the cutting inserts are set at the same diameter and height, and DVS, aka stepped cutting, where the inserts are staggered in both height and diameter. These marks line up with marks on the insert holders when they are mounted onto the head. Make sure you are looking in line with the serrations when verifying the cutting configuration. From this view, it appears that the head is set for balanced cutting. If we turn the head to view the markings in line with the serrations, however, we see that it is really configured for stepped cutting. The easiest way to see this alignment from any viewing direction is to adjust the insert holder to the minimum diameter on the boring head. The height difference for stepped cutting is a fixed amount. For boring head sizes 20 to 32, the step is 8 thousandths. For larger heads, the step is 16 thousandths. The boring heads feature a setting scale to permit diameter adjustments without the need for a tool presetter or external indicator. The scale shows metric diameter values and the adjusting screw has a fine metric pitch. For boring head sizes 20 to 32, one revolution equals 0.5 millimeters or 20 thousandths on diameter. For larger heads, one revolution equals one millimeter or 40 thousandths. Because the adjustment screw is contained by the slot in the insert holder, positive and negative diameter adjustments can be made by this single screw. Once the diameter adjustment has been made, tighten the locking screw and repeat the procedure with the other insert holder.